Hi, I'm Gary. Welcome to Jargon Free Help. So this week I wanted to talk to you about Dropbox. Lots of you have asked about it. And really, it's a great way to save your files online. So you can do it through a web browser. So you can just simply upload. And if you're doing it via a web browser, you can use a Mac, Windows, or even Linux and other systems as well. So really useful to do that. But you can also get an app which you can put onto any one of those. So it's, it works for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And basically, it creates a folder like in your My Documents. So you put your files in there, and it then automatically syncs online. So that way, you don't have to go through all the hassle of uploading and doing things like that. Now, aside from having it on your computer, you can also have it on one of your mobile devices, such as iPads, iPhones, Androids, and Blackberries. And that's great because files that you've got, you can have a look at them. So that could be useful if you've got photos or documents you want to review. You can easily just look at it on your devices. And many of those devices also have apps, so you can actually make changes to them and save them back to Dropbox as well. So really, it's a great idea. You can use this for business. You can use it for sort of backing up your files as well for personal use. So Dropbox is great for sharing files with other people as well. You can simply share a folder with them. That way they can actually, if they've got Dropbox, they can simply accept an invitation and then see it there as well. They can add to it, they can change it, so then you can share files and you can add a lot of people to it. If they don't have Dropbox, they'll get an invitation, they can join it, it's free. So you get two gigabytes for free and that's quite a lot. You can pay to get more, which is very, very useful. So for example, I've got 100 gigabytes, so I can put my photos, video clips and things in there and I pay $99 a year for that. In addition, you can also pay to have what's called version histories. So that way, if you accidentally delete something, you can easily get it back. You can also go back over documents where things have changed. So that way, if you are paying for this extra service, if you do actually make a change and you think, whoops, I want to go back to another version of it, you can simply do that. But I have had occasions where files have been deleted because I've been sharing with someone and then I've managed to easily retrieve that. So if you want to know more about it, go to dropbox.com. They've got tutorials on there, videos showing you how to use it, but it's really quite straightforward. Have a look at it, dropbox.com, get the free version, try it out. You can get much more if you want. And there's also a Teams version, which is great for sharing 1,000 gigabytes of files. So have a look at it, really useful stuff. Thanks for watching, see you next week.